video, we're going to look at a couple of the most common string functoids. And of, of all, the, really the most common one is the concatenate. And you can use concatenate basically to initialize the value of a field. So for instance, we put the concatenate functoid here. And let's suppose we want to initialize loan points to 2,000. So you hit this little constant symbol, type in 2,000, and then just simply drag and drop, and that's how you would initialize the field. It seems strange to me that the people who created BizTalk didn't create a functoid called, you know, initialize string value. But basically, when you look at the concatenate functoid, you'd think that normally you would be concatenating two things together, but it can actually just work with one thing only. And so it says here the functoid must have between 1 and up to 100 input parameters. The other functoids you have here, for instance, are uh, string trim, which takes off either left blanks, padded blanks to the left, or trailing blanks on the right. You have size, will tell you how many digits long the value of the field is. You have left and right, which these are a lot like the old VB script func functions. Uh, I want the left three bytes of this field or the right seven bytes of this field. You have uppercase and lowercase. That would be another way you could set the value of a field. Just take the uppercase and it says it, it must have only one parameter. <clears throat> and so you could put 1,000 here and then you could set the uh, approved loan amount to 1,000. I didn't quite get that, did I? So that's two ways you can initialize fields there. And then you have lowercase, uh, find, and extract are also like, uh, extract is like the MID function in DBScript. It will pull out the middle of a field. So you can say I want bytes three through seven, for instance. And we use that in a prior map to get the date. Uh, the date was converted from the, the normal English format, like 05 slash 01 slash 2007, and we converted that to the XML date format, 2007-05-01. That was done way back in the uh, early mapping videos we did. And then find will find a string in another string and tell you what position it was found in. So that's a quick summary of the string functoids. Thank <laughs> you.